Welcome to Perry Unlikely. Have you ever heard a Bitcoin maximalist when you start to talk about Ethereum? That's what it sounds like. And you know what's funny? It's crazy to be at a point where we're basically dealing with what I would say is one of the biggest revolutions in the past. Who knows? I mean, what's bigger than cryptocurrency and what has been? Um, I could say relatively right now, if we wanted to compare it to something, we would say it's the fact that any regular Joe can go to the moon. It's pretty big. But outside of that, crypto is transformative, and it's one of the biggest things in the history of mankind is what we'll probably say at some point when we look back and think about how it's transferred the one thing we basically always had in society, and that is an exchange or transfer of money, goods, and the way that we compensate each other in general. So when I hear someone say, Bitcoin is the only crypto, and it's the only one you should put your money in, I think to myself, Stop the cap. that's ridiculous. Let's think about this for a second. Satoshi Nakamoto comes up with this revolutionary technology, which has been going strong for over a decade now. Then a few years later, we get Ethereum. So now at this point, we have two different cryptocurrencies. Now, obviously, when it comes to Ethereum and other layer ones and other blockchains in general, they have their ups and downs. Roadmaps get pushed back. Heck, some of them don't even have a roadmap. Scams happen. There's ups and downs. It basically is a roller coaster. But it's clear that when it comes to cryptocurrency, it isn't a one-size-fits-all. Let's think about this. We've got Bitcoin, which has now been called a store of value. Now, originally, it was the payment system. What we know about Bitcoin, it is not fast enough, and they don't want to change. That's fine. I'm perfectly good with Bitcoin being a store of value. Digital gold, it is better than gold. But to sit there and say that, which a maximalist would say, that it's the true one and it's better than all the cryptocurrencies, it's just patently false. Does it have to be better? Can it be as good? And while the market cap is obviously higher, when we talk about Ethereum and these layer ones, we're talking about building a whole ecosystem. NFTs, DeFi. I mean... There's so many things happening in this space. It, it's almost as if, um, you know, you look back and someone says Nike is the, the true shoe. I mean, how, how crazy is that? Well, I mean, where else does this happen? Doberman Pinchers are the true dog. It's only in crypto. The equities market, they don't argue over anything like this, basically. You know, there may be some debate, but as far as, I don't know if we have this much argument over Uber and Lyft. So I just think it's crazy. And what I challenge a Bitcoin maximalist to do is give me solid proof or data why all other cryptocurrencies are trash. I would love for someone to be able to do it. But the truth is, it's simply not possible. Because we have tangible evidence at this point of what is being done on top of Ethereum on top of Solana at this point, on top of, well, with smart contracts, ADA. I mean, things are happening quick now. Things are starting to speed up. It's been a wild ride throughout this uh, bull run, which is continuing on at this point. But it has to be mentioned that it's not only bad for the whole industry when the tribalism gets to a point where it's just bashing one coin just because, and it makes it hard for newer people getting in to really understand that, hey, this is just tribalism. Don't pay any attention to it. And I, I want to go a step farther because I love Bitcoin. I love Ethereum. I love many coins. And I do have my favorites, but I, I love a lot of coins. But, you know, I have to mention that I see the same thing, though, between those who love ETH. And the way they talk about ADA, you know, FUD to trash the project. And what we got to realize is, is as you sit back and you trash this project, 
at least have the decency to realize that what you're trashing many times, not always, is a project that someone has literally poured years of hard work and effort into only for you to trash it just because you like another coin. So yes, when I say on the thumbnail that Bitcoin maximalism is unhealthy, it is unhealthy. And the other question is, is does anyone really think these Bitcoin maxis are really only buying Bitcoin? I don't believe it. You see these coins out, you're going to tell me that you really understand blockchain technology through and through. You see the deficiencies that Bitcoin has. They all have deficiencies, right? I mean, it's ever growing and moving technology. But you're going to tell me that when you see Ethereum at $80 last year, you didn't know it was undervalued? Come on. So what I do challenge Bitcoin maximalists, and not only Bitcoin maximalists, but other people who are just gung-ho on one coin, what I challenge you to is simply open up your mind. Simply open up your mind and think about the fact that anyone in this space at this time here is on the cutting edge of revolutionary technology. And I can assure you, regardless of whether you were Bitcoin maximalist or you love Ethereum or you hate Bitcoin, there was a moment in time, and that moment may still be here, when we watched, and even if you weren't in America, you were hoping, you were hoping that in that infrastructure bill, something to save cryptocurrency would get enacted. And it didn't matter if you or a Bitcoin maximalist, an Ethereum lover, an Algorand lover, an ADA lover. I could go on and on for days. It didn't matter. This is likely the greatest transfer of wealth that we've ever seen. Don't get stuck in maximalism. And if you truly are, more power to you. But just think about all the hard work that goes into what is truly a good project in these ecosystems that are worthwhile. So I just had to point that out. Thank you for watching Perry Unlikely. I hope that you'll take time to subscribe if you enjoy the content. Check out some of the other videos. I've got more content coming. Make sure if you want to get updates and see when I drop new videos that you hit the bell for notification. And I will see you next time.